Hmm. I just realized, well, I didn't just realize, but I formulated a way to show protesting against something um, fearing something it's a sign of consent to it the moment that you feel afraid it's because you accepted the offer. So whatever was making you afraid was literally just an offer, but you just didn't realize it. And the simple fact that you're afraid of it, it means you've accepted the spell of whatever it is. You consented to it because if and you you made it real by your consent consent you made it real the doctor says you have blah and you buy it hook line and sinker you consented to it the weather says it's blah and you prepare and you freak out and everything you consented to it the authorities plan blah and you start screaming and making and blaming and protesting and so on you just consented to it it was just an offer but because we are not reminded even though we should know by now that we are the creators of our of, of our reality and there are as many realities as there are being as there are beings and reality it's as fluid as water and the past can be changed just as easily as the future. And all dimensions are here and now. Um, when you remember how you can go down the same street for every year of your life. And all of a sudden you notice a feature in a, in a building that you haven't seen before. And you think who put it there overnight. Or you notice synchronicities. Or you notice uh, that you your friend is calling and you already answered what they're calling you about. Because you received it telepathically you know that 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 you have a hand in that of what you see as i said i have taken full responsibility for the um co to the v um because i know it's an expression of my desires of punishment of all the stupidity i've seen around me and i i who I wished stupidity to be painful and costly and deadly. And yeah, it came to pass. Careful what you wish for. Um, I'm also wishing um, not to have to work for money. So welcome um, <laughs> digital era and uh, universal income. <laughs> um, we wished for many things. And what's a wish? It's something that we pick up with our antenna. That's that's what a wish really is. We are receivers. Um, we pick up everything that is broadcast. By whom and what? Well, consciousness and what needs to be, <coughs> what needs to come to pass. And so, yeah. Um, the simple fact that we go and protest, the simple fact that we freak out and we prep and we do whatever we do, we put ourselves in the position of the subjugated, not in the position of the sovereign. So once the whole sovereignty movement will gain speed once the consciousness of the being is sovereign. The papers will literally solve themselves naturally and you will just fall in the right set of circumstances without having to go through 
law and decrees and paperwork and that video and this video and follow this or that or the other. Sovereignty is a state of mind and no sovereign accepts just anything going around. No sovereign does that. So as a sovereign, man must understand everything. It's an offer. Everything, everything from uh, weather to pain in the body to chemtrails to whatever. Nothing can harm you without your acceptance of it. As long as you curse something and fear, it's a curse. It's cursing it. You give it power to harm you. That's consent. Oh, I'm gonna shoot you. Oh, I'm gonna, that's gonna kill you. The best example of this it's, is the self-fulfilling prophecy of a bad-mouthed mother. You're going to end up like your father. You're going to end up in jail. And the kid ends up in jail. See, I told you so. No, bitch, you made it so. You cursed that child and you lived the child being, seeing you as the superior authority bought into your curse. You cursed your child. You put your child in jail. Oh, you do that, it's going to kill you. Or I keep eating that, I'm going to be fat. You just cursed yourself. You wished that bad for you. Like uh, this Aussie guy, Tim Barnett, something like that, or Tom Barnett. I can't remember his name. He is very, very good at explaining the concept of the offer. And it's so funny because in German, so in English, offer is to offer something. But in German, opfer, it's um, victim. Is the word for victim. So when you accept the offer, when you accept any offer going around, you literally become the victim of your own mm, feeble-mindedness. Um, so yeah, it's very, very important to understand. Um, no protest can fix anything um, because protests are just uh, adult tantrums of the mind of a two-year-old throwing his ass on the floor in the aisle of the supermarket and kicking and screaming. Hopefully that someone is going to fix the world and make it his way and he can get his way with his tantrum that's what protesting is is telling on telling on i'm telling the teacher i'm telling mama new i'm telling who you telling on whom the perp you 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 you're protesting to the perpetrators about the perpetrators that's demented to go protesting who you telling who you telling yeah, because a million people saw that a million people went protesting. Okay, and the people that saw in as Pakistan as I say it, um, that the people in the other place are screaming on the streets. Who's gonna? Because from all the people screaming, not all of them put together make a leader. That's why in every revolution, every revolution, some leader rises up, all of a sudden someone screams louder, that that screams louder, oh, okay, now we can go home, now we found someone to take care of our shit, our tantrum worked, we got our lolly, now we go home and we can chill. That who protests has no leadership qualities that who protests is just a little fucking retarded tattletale. Who are you telling on whom to? All protest uh, protesters are a bunch of Karens.
telling on the manager. Where is the manager? I, want, I need to speak to the manager. Well, the manager said the, probably the rules that you're bitching against, Karen. So, um, these goody two shoes uh, concept of um, charity and protest and community, it's so hilarious, man. I see so many good people that think, oh, we have to hold together. We have to create communities. We have to way, 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 way. Okay, the moment you have a community, you will have to structure it. You will have to trade within it. You will have to create hierarchy. So that which you're fighting will have to be recreated in your goddamn community. Because you can't give democracy to the idiot, to the misinformed, to the uninformed, and to the incompetent. You just can't. Try to have a meeting with people that are not at your level. I see even a lot of people on, on YouTube and so on, they are at the pretty amazing level of understanding, research, intellect and everything. And they do uh, call-ins, you know, like demo democracy type. Oh, so what do you want to hear on the channel? What's your question? What's your this? You know, like uh, we are all together in this. We are all the same. And nine out of ten are idiots that call. So how can you look around you? With whom do you want to have democracy with? Who, how, how many people stay in the house with their chosen best friend or their chosen beloved or their chosen whatever? And two months later, two years later, 12 years later, they can't stand each other. Familiarity breeds contempt. It's just as simple as that. Oh, but we have to unite and we have to create and we have to uh, get people of the like mind. Yeah, that's a cult. We've reached, look at your the generation of your parents and the parents of your parents and so on. They may be intellectually more advanced, more educated, more um, informationally, they may have more. But as far as the magic of life, the, con the, the, the awakening of consciousness, the, the, How can I put it? Like they can quote shit and they can do jeopardy and they can answer this, that and the other. They are an encyclopedia. But as far as the finesse of, of mind, as far as the evolution of consciousness, really, I can't think of any other. I can't think right now. It's like I'm being put on the spot. But as far as that was concerned, there were pretty aloof they were they were too uh trapped in the politics of the day the right way to love like in the physicality of life they were like what's running the government what's running la this is the philosophy this is the medicine so they were on the physical things they were educated but as far as the finesse of consciousness they were a little bit more immature. So now we are arriving. That's why the serendipities, are the synchronicities, the coincidences, the reading of the minds, that's why this is accelerating and everyone is talking synchronicity, synchronicity, synchronicity. Well, from the retrocausal aspect, there is no such thing as synchronicity. You're just picking up something that needs to come through something that needs to be born, something to need, that needs to be brought into reality, you're picking it up, something that, from the future, something that wants to be, 
but is not yet, but wants to be, and you're bringing it here. And then you see a set of circumstances that it's showing the same thing. So, the example, someone it's uh, thinking of an idea for a sh for a show, and whilst they're doing that, another three channels are doing the same thing, and that's been happening with me as well. Um, before I restarted with my channel, I would literally consciously put things into the ether, and within forty eight hours, I will find a video that talked in my words or or other about the same others about the same concepts that I I put in the ether just uh, days before. And so, therefore, there is no such thing as copywriting your ideas. There is no such thing as oh, I found it first. Stop being a two year old. Understand reality is fluid. Understand everything that's coming into your head is not yours to keep. Okay? It was given to you. You didn't birth it. You didn't uh, buy it from the corner shop and it's yours and yours alone. Whatever popped into your head was meant, meant to be born. If you want to understand more about that, read a book, uh, Big Magic, where is the example of the poem that wanted to be written. And it was floating around until someone on a field without a pen available caught the poem and ran inside to write it down and wrote it backwards because it, the poem was, the, the ideas of the poem, the, the, the um, rhymes of the poem were running so fast that the person literally had to write it backwards. Why? Same with, is with every other idea. When... Um, oh, I discovered that and nobody, everyone's talking about it and no one's give, giving me credit. Get over yourself. It's not like a child that when I hear that and then half the stream is them bitching about how others are using what they said first. How do you know you said it first and where did it come to you? But anyway, we need to evolve and to understand that these um, ideas are floating in the air. Everyone is picking them up. Some have the opportunity and the vocabulary to put them out. Some do not. But the ideas are not yours. They're not your mother's and they didn't come in your um, heirloom package. So we've, we, we, we are arriving at another, it's clear that consciousness um, is taking us somewhere. Uh, what needs to be birthed will be birthed. There is no point kicking and screaming, oh, we need to save our old way of life. It's gone. It's bye. It's gone. It's finished. And... Protesting and this, that, and the other, it's naive, is backwards, is retarded, and it just proves that whatever uh, was thrown at you, you caught it like a good dog and you ran with it. Instead of saying, no, I don't accept this offer. And start from there. Not accepting the offer means what? You're not going to prep about it. You're not going to go scream about it. You're going to live your life like you didn't accept the offer. Do you think nothing can harm you? Remind yourself every moment. You are, you are created in the image and likeness of the Almighty. And um, enjoy those, those synchronicities because every one of them... It's here to show you the fluidity of reality. With understanding that comes an ease of life. Like I said, even before I stopped uh, posting, my life has become so magical. Literally, I just think I want to eat blah. That's the one thing that my boyfriend brings at home. And I didn't even, I didn't even, I, I didn't even see him. What tell him? I didn't even, or I wanted a menthol cigarette. 
he never ever touches menthol and he never even knew that I wanted them or that I smoked them or whatever and he brings home one time three like they're just so amazing like and these are just small silly examples but even on a grand scale um synchronicities are happening and they're so soothing to the soul because they're literally proving that there is no personal assistant that can cater for my most obscure desires and wishes than the universe is. It's, it's literally catering to my every need and it's amazing. Now, is that because I'm so goddamn special? No, it's because I understand reality is retrocausal. I understand that my wish, it's exactly like that poem. It's something that's floating above me. It's an offer. The wish, it's also an offer. There are not just bad offers, there are good offers, and those are wishes. Now, you can allow a wish or block it. I don't have the money. How the fuck is... No, that's going to mean another 10 hours of work. Oh, that's going to be that. That's going to be that. I'm too old. I'm too female. I'm too this. I'm too the other. You just decided that you are the be all and all to the um, offer. And you are the only possible creator. And the offer, just like that poem, is just moving the fuck on. And someone else is going to manif manifest your shit because you're too blocked into the physical to understand how ma magic you are. And the only thing that's happening on the planet that is not for your highest uh, good is the fact that no one reminds you moment by moment that you are magic. You are created in the likeness and image of God. That means you are pure, unadulterated magic and everything, including your wishes, are there. They're floating around just like that Mercedes that you absolutely saw and you absolutely would love to have and your heart just keep the beat when you saw it, if that ever happened. Or that pair of shoes or whatever the fuck uh, made your heart skip a beat. And that's because that thing wanted to be enjoyed by you. That, 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 that offer, whatever the offer was, was floating around looking for a receiver. And if you're a thick, drone, programmed slave receiver, you ain't going to receive shit. It's going to be your neighbor and you're going to be green with envy. So, stop protesting. Reject the offers you don't want. Accept the offers you want. Understand that you don't have to... You have zero capacity and nobody even asked you to make the offer happen. Just say, fuck, I would love that. How do you know that that is so? Because for things that you don't have hang-ups on, they manifest really quickly and you call those synchronicities. Or um, um, serendipity and that. Man, I'm tired. Like, um, so much happens in a day and I come to this hour and I promised myself I'm going to express everything because I start to have throat problems because I need to speak what I'm given. It's, that, that's, that's an offer that has been floating around and I've accepted, but I've been blocking it. So, um psychosomatically that was screwing up my throat so I promised um, 
consciousness that sent me this offer, which I accepted joyously because I love to talk and I love to express myself. I said that I'm going to put out everything that's given to me in the most unedited way, exactly as it's given to me. And um, the ethers can just wash their hair with it. I am given a bunch of shit and I am shown a bunch of information. It's put before me. I'm digesting it in my own way. I have the instinct to put it out um, in the ether or now in video. It, it's all the same. So I promised that I was going to do that and I was going to do it daily. And so, um, because every time, before I started doing, that's why I'm saying within 48 hours when I wasn't doing it on video, literally I would hear it from the mouth of somebody else and I would be just so happy because it just proved to me how cohesive the ether is to feed the new, the new, the creation of the birth of the new reality with exactly what was given to me as well. So I'm, I'm absolutely loving it. I'm loving it. So it is my joy to, um, uh, dole myself up and to express because in my day to day life, um, I tried with my friends to communicate some of these concepts, but they're just not at the same place mentally. And just the feedback was just constantly uh, interrupting the train of thought. So what was meant to be put in the ether was constantly blocked by, by these other minds. And what is given to you is just given to you. The same way, like, hear the story of Arca Archaics, um, Jason Bashir, something like that. There is no way you can be another Jason Bashir. Good, bad, ugly, fabulous, wonderful, whatever, it doesn't matter. Bottom line is, he was given a set of circumstances that created that which feeds the ethers right now with the information only he has available. No one else has the total totality of, of knowledge in that structure that he has. And it's clear that the ethers needed and prepared him for that. My preparation, when I look now, as I said, the um, conjunction of 2020 put my life into such perfect perspective that I've never been more confident in myself than, than, than since then. Because it showed me how, for example, in school, um, the Wizard of Oz, we studied my classroom was the one classroom that studied the Wizard of Oz for an entire year because my English teacher wanted to rise up in her career. And so she had as a teacher, she was tested and for the whole class to look like she's such a fabulous teacher and to have all the answers um, ready so it, we make her look good so she can accomplish her Climb, uh, climb in, in, in her career. She literally taught us the Wizard of Oz and we studied and dissected the Wizard of Oz out of all the stories on all the... Oh, it was just weird. And now since I've been in alternative um, everything... The importance of the Wizard of Oz, it's as high as the importance of the Truman Show or uh, They Leave. And even with They Leave, my God, that film, gosh, it was 92 or 93, 1993 or something. And I was waiting for a, the airplane to take me from Europe 
to um, Australia. It was my departure from Europe to Australia. It was when I actually, um, yeah. And so it happens that we had some time to kill and we went to the movies and the one movie showing was They Live. And in the community, obviously, we know the importance of this amazing movie. But again, it was shown to me, not just this, this was just a couple of examples, but everyone's path, everyone's events are preparing you to be that peg in this future that's building right now. So I absolutely know that everything that I've chosen, everything that chose me, everything that my instinct was competent and capable to let um, be birthed th through me uh, has um, made me, has brought me I'm not yet very, very sure what's the point of it all because I still don't see, I just believe blindly in the future that wants to be birth. And I believe and I'm showing my belief by following my instinct to the letter. So I don't go at all by any programming. I constantly go only with my instinct and I trust it implicitly. And every single time something seems to not work out, I constantly say, oh, okay, so this is not the time yet, or this is not the right thing. Even if I don't have money for something, I'm like, right, so there is something better that's supposed to come. So I, I no longer see any mistakes in anything because I absolutely know that my now is defined by my tomorrow. So I have such... Um, absolute faith that the only offer I accept is that which gives me joy, which gives me um, aliveness, which gives me pleasure. And again, I repeat, when they say follow the love, that's what they mean. Not to suffocate someone with what you call love. No, not to kiss someone's ass. It actually means that you follow that which gives you, I love doing it. I love this. I love going there. I love saying that. That's what following the love means. And love is the answer that what it means. Do what the fuck you love. From two options that you're you're with, one is to whatever, and one is oh I don't want to do it I don't love it's really not what I would love to do but I have to do it because well fuck this one you have to do what you love now some people will call what you love procrastinating or um don't buy into it. You trust your instinct implicitly and whatever outcome comes from that is the right outcome to take you to the tomorrow you need to be at. And someone said, oh, but that will mean that. Yeah, well, if you're out of control, that means you need to, whatever the fuck you're starting to scream about, that means that you need to go to the extreme of your out of controlness get to it already, stop dragging your feet to it, so that with your, with your out of controlness finally has to come your uh, deepest bot, your, you reaching the bottom and picking yourself up again. Stop wasting time by blocking your, your uh, rock bottom. If that's what it means. Oh, if I didn't stop myself, I would eat. Well, eat like a cow or drink like an idiot or go shoot, whatever. Whatever it is that your absolute desire. And obviously, I don't want to start. That's why I don't even have a, a, any interest in comments and so on. Because I wouldn't want to argue sem semantics with people now. 
oh that would mean i'm not here to babysit you if you're out of control your out of controlness with shit is not my problem ask yourself why the fuck do you have to police yourself and why the fuck if you didn't police yourself you would go out of control and i have to uh, someone would have to explain themselves to you if you need babysitting go buy your pampers and get the fuck out i mean seriously i'm talking to adults um to adults and to normal people following what you love it's highly benefic beneficial and it's highly joyous and it's beneficial not just for the self but for everyone involved if what you love doesn't fit here take your freaky bs elsewhere because that's not my problem i'm referring to those people that are sane that are normal in the sense of willing and wishing no harm but if what you love creates harm something's not right with you and you watching youtube should not be your priority anyway and taking uh, taking advance uh, advice from randoms shouldn't be uh, what you do anyway you should go check yourself but that's not my problem that's your problem so i do what i love and i love doing it and um I'm following my instinct. My instinct is for my highest good and the highest good of everyone involved. Uh, it makes my friends happy. It makes me happy. It keeps me young. And um, I'm going to keep doing it. Because it's the right... Um, it feels right. Yeah. 